Hello, this one goes out to all the Christians who believe that every single passage of the Bible is 100% true and should be followed. And just in case you're watching this and you're one of those who picks and chooses, how do you figure out which ones you should choose and which ones you shouldn't? Who are you to say? Anyway, if you do believe every single word, let's agree on just one thing. The Bible has been translated. Unless you're reading it in the original Latin, it's been translated. Perhaps you know of the game Telephone. This is easy enough to do. Gather a small group of people, place them around a table sitting next to each other, have the first person whisper something into the ear of the person sitting next to him, then that person whispers to the next person, so on and so forth, and then at the very end the person who first heard it has whatever is left, whatever, whatever it has become, whispered into his ear, or the last person to hear something just says it out loud, and the person who thought of what to say to the first person just says if that's at all what he started out saying. If you don't have the opportunity to carry this out, I have devised, or maybe been inspired by some source, whatever, I don't copyright this idea. You can write a short story, I don't know, ten paragraphs. Make it as detailed as you like. Find, let's say, ten friends. Make sure they're honest, that they wouldn't cheat with this. Send it to one of them and have him read it once, then never read it again, then write what he remembers of it and send to the next person, so on and so forth, and have the tenth person or the last person, whatever, send the result back to you. And then just see if it hasn't at all been colored by personal opinion, bias, personal experiences, whatever. And then tell me, are you 100% sure that what is written in the Bible, a book that has been translated over time, remember it wasn't even originally written in book form, are you absolutely certain that every word is 100% accurate, keeping in mind how different languages can be. A language is essentially a philosophy. It's the way that country looks at the world. A lot of languages, for a quick example, have one or a few words for snow. The Greenland, the people of Greenland have, I don't remember the exact number, but dozens, it might be like 30, depending on what kind of snow it is, if it's in the air falling, if it's on the ground, whatever, and this is of course because snow is pretty damn important to them. Anyway, I hope I have proved something. That's it for this one. Bye.